Just a bit of an update, David. I've uh, got your new base gasket on the old girl. New Sunji tappets off. I've uh, a new spring, new decompressor. It had a spacer under here, eighth of an inch spacer, but I've pulled that out. And uh, your head gasket's been off and re annealed. Your valves have been relapped in. Can't really see down there, it's been had a bit of a decoke as well. Um, I'm going to be giving it a bit of a clean up, just a bit of a fettle. I'm going to leave this one as it is, I'm not going to paint this one. I'll re black your barrel for you. I've managed to fit another inlet so we can run a, uh, an original carb as requested. You can either use your carb or use this carb, whichever one you want. But the best thing. And a bit of an issue with no spark in this. And your uh, your magneto, just a bit damp. Probably been because been sitting for a while. But um, had your old mag apart. Rebuilt your mag and found two labels on it, same as normal Wycos. And I've got your impulse started working again. It wasn't clicking. A little bit of a clean side there. Reset your points. There's been a bit of heat in there because these points have got a bit of bit of wear on. We've done a test on your condenser, and that's reading all the right readings it should be. And uh, prepared your HT lead. I've cleaned your coil out inside there. And I've uh, re oiled in your bearings here. This chain's a bit. There's a bit. Um, it goes on here. This drive chain's a bit slack. I want to see if I've got another one. Oh, yeah, and. Um, I might weld that shaft up and take the wrap. Might actually make some new bushes for that. The biggest thing, as I say, I've got the uh, old girl sparking. You'll hear the impulse on the mag on the uh, Wyco magneto fire away in a second. There we go. That's all good to go. I'm going to replace. There's a broken oil pipe on here, just a crankcase breather. That needs sorting. As I mentioned the other day, I think I've got a pair of new old stock shoes, shoes for your centrifugal clutch. And this motor, this coil's also been, sorry, this magneto's also been had apart, cleaned out, rebuilt. Finally set your timing, you set it to an eighth of an inch before TDC, let your Wyco mag fire and then turn it back. Well, this also had a broken spring in your decompressor, but now your decompressor, once you put your cable back on, this is this is for your verge cutter, it should uh, be A-OK. -okay. I've, um, I've unseized your, your tappets, your followers, they're ready to go. I'm going to be making a new gasket, or some more gasket paper turning up in the next few days. 
Like to link your oil pipes, feed and return on the back because I didn't have a tank at the time. And um, apart from that, I managed to salvage a gudgeon pin from another engine. It just so happens it's the same size. And there's no wear in this one. No wear, it's tight to go in. That's as far as it goes because I've got to stick it in with my press. With my press. This one I'll be repainting. Do a starter red, use bracket. The shaft will be green over here. I'm making a new gasket for this. I've repainted your ransoms. Side casing. I'll be cleaning this barrel up. Your engine mounts are going to be repainted. And somewhere, I'm not sure what I've done with it. Oh, there we go. I've also. <coughs> Repainted that mount as well. Same green, it's quite close to the ransom's green, it's not, it's not far off. So this one I've sent the piston off to my friend in Telford to be a to be remachined and have a set of new rings put in. I'll leave that in there. Hopefully, you'll have both these engines back running within the next week and a half, two weeks. The verge cutter one does run, just needed new rings in it. I've lapped the valves back in, and the other engine's nearly good to go as well. It'll probably be starting within the next few days, but give you an update when it's ready to go.